Want to create animations like this in Comfy UI? Stay tuned. Check out this tutorial. This short animation was made in three steps. One, pre-processing the original video to prepare for Comfy UI. I rotoscoped the main character with Runway ML. I exported the character with black background and extract the frames with FFmpeg. You can use, of course, DaVinci Resolve, Premiere or any other editing software. Two, making the AI animation with Comfy UI. This is what this tutorial is about. You will see how a smooth animation can be made. For that, you only need to set a workflow which combines ControlNet and TemporalNet. 3. Editing the video Comfy UI will create a sequence of PNGs. These can be made a MP4 video. Then, it is just matter to edit the video, rotoscoping and using effects, in Resolve, Premiere or Runway. Let's get started with Comfy UI. We start with the template. We will start making a regular text-to-image workflow. In this case, we will start with a LoRa to adjust the model style. Now, we will start preparing a workflow batch image to image. For that, we need to use the batch image load. This is a custom node, not in the standard installation of Comfy UI. I leave the link to his nodes in the description below. You will also need to write down your positive and negative prompt. For this demo, I will use a pre-made prompt already prepared. Select your model and your LoRa. We create a test folder in the input folder of the Comfy UI installation. In this folder we place three or four of the frames to test the workflow works. When testing, there is no need to save the images. We place a preview image node only. We need to set the seed to a fixed value. For this example, we will also reduce the CFG to 3. In the batch load image node, we point to our test folder. When the node is ready, we test the workflow and check everything is alright. Now, we will start adding our control net nodes. Some space is needed, so I am slightly reorganizing the layout. For control net we need the node apply control net. The positive and negative prompts need to be connected to the node. The outgoing positive and negative are connected to the case sampler. This node requires we connect to a control net model, which we load to a control net loader. In this first control net we are going to use the line art model. To apply the control net, we need to feed a line art image. To do that, we need to add the corresponding preprocessor. The preprocessors are not installed by default. ControlNet Auxiliary Custom Nodes are needed. I will leave the link in the description down below, but these can be installed using Comfy UI Manager. When we test our workflow, we see there is an error. We forgot to connect one prompt to the ControlNet. When running complex workflows, it is good to test every small change to make sure everything works as we want. We run the prompt again, and check that now everything is correct and the right image is generated. For the second control net we are going to use open pose. We connect again the positive and negative prompts consecutively. Next, we load the control net open pose. As a preprocessor, we choose to use in this demo DW pose. In my opinion, this preprocessor detects better faces and hands than the standard open pose preprocessor. We run again that the workflow works well. The line art and open pose control nets have detected the images correctly. And we can also see how the final image is based in the original image. For the last control net, we will use temporal net. This control net is not in the standard library. 
needs to be installed manually in the control net folder. Instructions will be found in the description below. For temporal net we do not use any preprocessor. We just simply connect the starting image to the control net. We run a final test to see that all the workflow works without problems. Now that the workflow works fine, we will prepare to run the complete batch of images. To save the output frames, we will add the save image node from was node suite. We will still use our test frames that the files are saved where we want, and with the name we want. We now create a new folder called frames. In this folder, we are going to copy all the frames from the original video. We are ready to start. We rename now the input folder to get the frames from the new created frames folder. In the same way, we rename the output folder where we want the stable diffusion frames be created. We run now the whole batch of images. In this demo is 167 frames. Depending on the duration of the video, the quality of the image, and the rendering settings in your machine, the processing will last more or less. While the images are being generated, you can check them in your output folder. In the case that you do not like them, you can cancel the queue, delete the output folder and refine your settings. Take into account that, when you restart the queue, it will start from the last frame you processed. If you want to start from the beginning, it is better to run first one frame from the test folder, and then restart the complete batch. When all the frames are ready, you can use them for post-processing. Sometimes, you may want to manually polish some individual frames. With Photoshop or with the video editor you can improve some of the imperfections. Sometimes, it can be useful to rerun some of the frames in Comfy UI. This really depends on the results of your video, but we will not cover it in this tutorial. This has been my tutorial to make animations with Comfy UI. I hope it has been useful and you have enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.